And you Amazing. already started. I, saw I already, I, I saw did. Him. Well, we have a self-taught chef who can now call himself the top teppanyaki master in North America from Roku restaurant chef Mike Monzon is with us. Welcome, Hello. chef. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's this an is honor. A real treat. Thank you. And we learned earlier today that teppanyaki is like a hibachi. It's hibachi cooking, but it's grilling in front of an audience like we have right here. So it's it's both the cuisine and the, the showmanship. It, absolutely, it's, it's the best of both worlds. You're getting uh, like an awesome cuisine, and you're getting a great experience from a chef who likes to perform and uh, put his talents out there. It's, it's a great experience, especially at Roku now. We're a great new concept restaurant that we're really focusing on premium ingredients. So not only do you get a great show, you get the best of the best food you could ever get out there. We're literally taking these products straight from our sushi bar and bringing them right to the grill. And the best thing about it too, it's probably one of the most healthiest ways you can cook. Well, how does one go about becoming like a master uh, teppanyaki chef? Uh, everyone's story is a little bit different. Mine was a classic example of trial by fire. I started literally at 16. I've been cooking 24 years. Uh, it would, I was the kitchen helper, I was the dishwasher, and then they just, I moved up the ranks really, really quick. I had a really good passion for it. I'm a third generation chef in my family, oh, so wow. it's always been in our blood. So when I, when I first saw teppanyaki, it was almost kind of like the floodgates were open and I knew it's what I wanted mm -hmm. to do. And I've always had a passion for it. I love performing. I love seeing the end result of what I cook and put out there. And I love, like, I love uh, communicating with people and talking and, mm -hmm. and, and getting feedback and seeing what other people people like to eat. It's like a family kind of environment. And the instant gratification. That instant gratification. What you've created. It's Absolutely. Not so instant because I haven't grabbed anything. Well, I'm, 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 I was talking so you could take a bite. Well, speaking of family, you have a little okay. son who's two years old. Are we going to have a fourth generation teppanyaki chef? You know, yes. Yeah, so I never, I, oh, my, my son. So I've never really pushed it on him, but he always watches me in the kitchen. We have this little thing where he likes to bring the chair into the kitchen, pull it up there. I have like a little fake wood knife and he likes to sit there and chop vegetables with me and oh. I would get him really involved in it too because I want him to eat healthy too you know of course. we don't take him out to fast food restaurants we oh. like to feed him there. Sure there's look oh, at him going to town oh, oh man fourth fourth generation fourth generation yeah. right there oh my goodness you know it's so musical oh. too it's very like it's musical. not just because you hear the beats of what mm. you're doing my question to you is has there ever been a mishap? Oh. I mean, when you're when you're <laughs> learning to do this, you're throwing knives in the air. It's a little scary. Oh my God, I can make a movie when when chefs gone bad. I've had <laughs> I've had so many accidents Let out there. Let me see there, your you fingers. Know. Yeah, I, 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 there. I, I started with eleven. I started with eleven. So. But I, you know, it, it, it happens with the job, and and that just comes with the experience of the entertaining part. Like you you don't want to do anything that you don't want to bite up more than you can chew for sure. And you want to think safety first. You know, you want to have fun, but you're not trying to like light somebody on fire or right. cut somebody or something can we see okay. a little bit of what yeah. you're going to make yeah absolutely you guys so, want to see some of the show yeah, yeah absolutely totally, some of the show. Yeah. totally. Oh, so so good so this is one of roku's more uh, signature dishes like i said it's our surf and turf it's our biggest seller out there too it's 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 really good it's 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 a hit it's my personal favorite too so what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna just start off with some onions, some asparagus, mm. some some carrots, and we're just gonna basically just kind of get these going. Like I said, teppanyaki cooking is pretty easy and pretty healthy. You don't want to have to saturate yeah. anything. So we're just Chef, gonna can add Can I ask eggs. you though, if you don't have one of these grills, how can we do this at home? Yeah. So so my uh -huh. person, my personal experience, and I'm, I'm only speaking for myself. The best way I mimic this at home is was I was using cast iron. Cast iron seems to hold like the heat, the well, and, and, and it's, it's heavy duty. It, 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 it holds a temperature and it has that kind of a flavor, like a grill flavor. Cast iron, is, it's, it's, you can cook on it enough time where it, it gets flavored, you know, and so I never really wash my cast iron. I just hot water, paper towel, yes. a little bit of uh, um, olive oil, and it's good to go. And it just seems to be the best vessel. You can get really good cast irons that have like grill slits. So you can mimic like diamond sears and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, you know, the possibilities are kind of endless. So get that going. You must get really bored going to a regular restaurant. I do. <laughs> I, you know, I do. Like, well, I actually, went, I actually went to some other steakhouses not too long ago, and it was it was kind of funny because I like I'm like the worst critic on myself, and I watch other chefs, and I'm like, oh my god, too much oil, too much salt. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? Oh my god, you're overcooking my steak. Oh my god, you know. Is this so. what fried rice is? So this is the fried rice, and this is gonna be the wagyu. 
What and is Wagyu beef? So Wagyu is like basically the best beef you can buy. This is the A5 Wagyu, and it's all about the fat of the steak. It's how the steak was raised, how they took care of it, and it is, mm. like I said, this is one of Roku's most signature dish. Like that, and you can even be a rock star at Roku. You can order this, and then you can do a truffle chimi. You can do a truffle chimichurri upgrade with frog wa on there. Oh. I mean, it, it's, ah, it's, I yeah, and we, I like to call it the heart attack, you know, it's, it's totally <laughs> worth it. Best heart attack eat of your up, life. Eat up. Yeah, no. Best heart attack of your life. Well, don't worry, sure. we have the emergency yeah. medical yeah. conditions yeah. on over here. standby. <laughs> Is there a secret to how we can make the fried rice at home where it's not to be so greasy and it's really good quality? Um, fried rice? Yes, ma'am. So, how, how do you do this? Is there a secret or a tip you can give us? So again, I can only speak from personal experience, but what I found for the wow. best fried rice, I believe, use day-old fried rice. I cooked day the rice old. the night before, I let it cool down, I put a little butter in there, lay it out in a sheet pan, put it in my refrigerator. That way, the next day when you're cooking it, there's a separation to the rice. Oh, you right. can actually like get a little Christmas to it. Mm -hmm. Because more rice, if you just kind of cook it out of the warmer and put it on the grill, it gets kind of mushy. Yeah. So, you know, you want to kind of tend to stay yeah. away from that. I like it right. when it's got that crisp charred ends on the end. Oh, so. wow. Show us a little bit of what you do uh, when the show is going on. By the way, there's no reason to ever have takeout at this restaurant. You no. Could miss, you missed the whole No, not at all. Not at all. No. Can you give us a little bit of that show? Yeah, and absolutely. Do we need protective eyewear? You know, maybe. No, <laughs> maybe. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Okay, here we a go. A master at work. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but... Oh. What are you doing? Uh -oh. What are you going to do? Just, are you going to set something on fire? fire? Hard to see is the concern that I just... It's kind of hard oh to see because of lighting out here. Lighting. This is right. right. I'm going to put a lot of hair delicious. strain in the pen. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Uh, oh yeah, fancy. He has nothing on cocktail yeah. the movie. You can't I'm see. down. Yeah, our I don't know. Tom movie. Cruise who? Yeah. <laughs> so good. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, it's so bright, but actually the ends of the spatula were on fire. Uh, actually, by, by luck, you're supposed to blow it out. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it didn't oh, go it didn't go out. You got the lung power. Oh, you didn't. Oh, oh. oh it spit no. my food out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it spit my food out. Give me go. There you go. Oh, nice. Can you do that while hula hooping? Can you oh my God. I, I was right. watching you do that and I was like, oh my God, I should have been in there trying that out myself. It's going to give him ideas. Why. What do you guys think? This is good. so good. Isn't that great, Jason? This is so delicious. So, so yeah, so um, let me tell you about the sauces here real quick. So at Roku, we don't really saturate a lot of our ingredients with like a scent of like, like salt, pepper, butter, soy sauce. We don't really do that. We really cook them kind of simple. It's our signature three oh sauces God. that stand out. So yeah, we have that's our truffle chimney sherry mm. sauce. That's more or less for your red meat. I don't know. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. We have uh, the mustard for shrimp and then the mm. plum ginger for rice. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. That's so that is good. so spicy. So what is the green one? It's so good. No, so that's the truffle chimichurri. Think anything oh red meat in there. So it's got oh. a little bite to it, too. It's really good.